Hello, and welcome back to Doom Eternal Part 6. Today, we are finishing up with the Hunter base and fighting the boss three times, for some reason. Um, you might have noticed as well that the episodes are a little bit shorter. Uh, I'm just trying to experiment, see if you guys prefer the shorter episodes or if you wanted me to stick to like the longer episodes. Um, but we'll see how the reaction goes to the next few episodes of these being around 15 minutes at most really um, it won't be the same for Resident Evil or Deus Ex purely because Deus Ex has a lot more going on in terms of having to stop and like listen to dialogue and make options and Resident Evil is like still an action game but it's a lot slower paced in comparison to Doom so I feel like keeping those at around maybe 20-25 minutes would be appropriate. Um, I've even been thinking of um, streaming Deus Ex and then uploading uh, footage of the stream instead of like the actual Let's Play series just because in a stream I don't have to worry about like how long am I recording for. I won't have to worry about file size. Uh, which, as we all know, so is a bit of a concern for me right now. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I did talk about streaming uh, before New Year. I was talking about streaming Borderlands 2, and that's, that's still on the table, you know. Like, streaming doesn't limit me to one or two games. The only problem with streaming at the minute is trying to catch a breather in between working on these videos, working on... I'm still working on Emperor's New Groove. Um, it's recorded, and I've got the intro done. I, it's... <laughs> it's... It's a first for me to not want to actually review a game, like... Emperor's New Groove is just legitimately boring to talk about, and just thinking about recording it uh sapped all energy from me uh but i got it done but now the fact that i've got to like go through and gather the footage for it and then edit all that together it's it's more than i really want to put in for for a game of that caliber uh like wind waker that that was like almost like an entire week's worth of um editing that was me putting in editing time for a few hours a day, that was my girlfriend putting in hours of her time to help out as well. But not once was it a chore, not once did it feel like this, it was too much, but Emperor's New Groove... <laughs> I love the movie, don't get me wrong, it is an absolutely brilliant movie. But a brilliant game, it does not make. <laughs> but... I've still got things lined up as well. I've said that I'm going to remake uh, the Majora's Mask video. Um, and I'm honestly thinking of... Maybe after I finish Resident Evil 4, uh, my let's play for that, I might revisit that review that I've already done and talk about it with a bit more of an updated... I say updated, that video was like four months ago. <laughs> But, I mean, like, with a, a different opinion with uh, playing the PC version. Uh, because I'm actually, uh, even though it's, I've only played, like, maybe like an hour of it total, it's actually a lot of fun to play on the PC. Like, never mind the fact that the tank controls on keyboard and mouse can be a little bit cumbersome. you think it'd be easier, considering it's, like, four keys, four directions. Um... It's, it's not, like, if you've seen the last episode, you would have seen me try it and turn and walk in a straight line to, <laughs> to run from some dynamite, and I ended up curving into the wall. Now, that was purely my fault, but trying to, like, figure out on the fly tank controls on a control scheme you're not familiar with is... Uh, woof, that hits something. <laughs> uh... I'm not going to lie to you as well, uh, maybe one or two of these episodes are probably just going to be 
pure gameplay. Um, no, none of this commentary and no in-game commentary. Uh, again, it's just experimenting. It's just trying to find what you guys like. And I can completely understand if you prefer not hearing me talk. <laughs> but again, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I've got fingers crossed for this year as well. Like, I don't think we're through the worst of it just yet. I think we're not even... I don't think we've peaked at all with what's going on in the world right now. But I think towards the end of the year, at least, things might start returning to normal. Uh, I don't know where you're from uh, when you're watching this. Um, but if you're in the UK, you know what the state of it's like over here. If you're not, and you like don't follow British news really, because why would you if you're not from here? But like we had this uh, three-tier system, and tier three was the highest, and only like important shops could stay open, and you know like we. I'm not. <laughs> Basically, they invented a new tier for us. Um, tier 4, which has basically put us in a semi-national lockdown. So, parts of the country have been locked down. Uh, I am in part of the country that falls under Tier 4, which is why you've been getting more uploads. Uh, because I can't go to work. We're, where I work, it's seen as non-essential. So, uh, so, until Boris tells us it's safe to go outside... Uh, I can't go outside. I can go outside, but I can't work and I can't like hang around with people. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get political. I'm not gonna voice opinions on how stupid some of the government's decisions have been. Um, but there's a reason infection rates aren't dropping in the UK, and it's the government's ignorance that is the prime cause. Like, if they... Alright, no, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> uh, I'm not a political person, but just seeing how the government has decided they're going to handle a country in a pandemic and absolutely shit the bed is frustrating. <laughs> but, nothing I can do. They don't listen to us, so... But hopefully, wherever you are in the world, you're faring better than us or at the very least you're starting to like crest the worst of it and you're opening up to better things hopefully you're able to provide and survive the one thing I've never liked about this boss fight isn't the fact that it's three of them that you fight in total. I just would have preferred if they did this one so you start off fighting two. Because especially if like, you're a new player as well. Which everyone was at one point. But uh, a few of the people I know who have played this have said that trying to understand the mechanics of Doom, uh, Doom Eternal... Um, and fighting a boss like this where you uh, want to use the plasma gun to drain the shields and then if you've got the um, heat blast thing you use that and your blood punches and when you're trying to figure out the best strategies and tactics and you don't know an enemy's movesets yet having you fight one and be in like an almost near death state to then find out you've got to fight another two of them there is some kind of like mental fatigue that kicks in from that um, it's definitely not my favourite part of the game. I, I much prefer fighting these three over the gladiator uh, that comes up in, I think the level is called Taurus Nabad. I couldn't remember. I think I called it Exultia last time, but it's not. In Taurus Nabad you fight uh, the gladiator who, I think I mentioned this in passing, he's got the face of the old Baron of Hell designs from like Doom 1 and 2. Uh, and I, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but I would much rather fight these guys than one of him. I've always, and I don't know why, but I have always struggled against the Gladiator boss fight. Uh, but 
I, I suppose when we get to that part of the game, uh, I guess you'll just get to see me uh, struggle as usual. But I mean, in this part here, I mean, I had some near-death experiences, and I don't know why, like, navigating the uh, terrain this episode was tricky. I kept, like, jumping into <laughs> into walls and, like, rubbing against them when I'm trying to backtrack. Like, my spatial awareness is absolute garbage. <laughs> and uh, it probably isn't going to get much better, in all honesty. But, uh, hey-ho. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, well, I'm thinking as well. I, I know I'm, like, flip-flopping on subjects, but the problem with talking like this is I don't actually have, like, much of a plan of what I'm going to say. I just kind of sit down and hope something comes out. <laughs> Words come out, not... But, um... I might be able to, where I'm keeping these episodes slightly shorter, I might be able to knock out two on a Monday. Uh, purely because some of the levels in Doom Eternal do get fairly long, and I don't want to spend maybe like four or five episodes on one level, and then that takes over a month to get through one level. So I might, I might depending, upload two at a time. Like, literally back-to-back, -back, like one after the other. Uh, but... Our system is being corrupted. We'll see how it goes, because... I know I said I wanted to stick to this schedule, but one of the things I'm thinking of is, like, it's gonna be a week in between uploads. So, I might... Honestly, I know I said it, I might just scrap <laughs> the schedule and just upload. Because there's no reason not to. I could probably upload all three, like, every two days. If I really wanted to, and there's no reason I couldn't. But then, at the moment in time as well, I've still got the Empress New Groove. I'm still in the middle of writing up the script for the Majora's Mask remake. Uh, and I'm hoping you guys uh, will enjoy at least something I put out. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. On the next episode, we are going to the Super Gore Nest, one of my favourite levels in Doom Eternal. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.